it's your girl Candy, and today we are talking jeans. Specifically, the Abercrombie jean. I don't know about you, but everyone has been raving over these jeans, especially since Abercrombie extended their sizes to 37. Abercrombie offers so many options when it comes to their jean collection. They have tall, petite, and standard lengths. There's also standard sizing and a curved love collection, which offers an additional two inches through the thigh and hip. So I decided to order two pair from the Curve Love collection and one from the standard. That way we could compare the cut. I am only 5'2", so I decided to order all the jeans in a petite length. So let's get into the first pair, which is the Angle Straight Ultra High Rise Curve Love jean in a size 36. Now these jeans are fitted through the hip and then they loosen at the knee. You do get the additional two inches through the hip and thigh. I will say for me, the 36 does gap in the back. I'm not sure if I would have sized down to a 35, if they would have been too tight on my hip and thigh. So I'm going to reorder them and I'll keep you guys posted on that. What I will say is I love the length of these jeans. I love the fact that it is an exposed ankle, which pairs perfectly with mules and sneakers, especially as we start to get into spring, summer. These are going to be a go-to pair of jeans for me. Next up is the Dad High Rise Curve Love Jean. Now I picked these up in a size 35, which is their equivalent of a size 20. And I will say, I feel like again, I could have sized down to a 34. So I would say you could actually order these true to size for a perfect fit. Now the dad jean is a 10 and a half inch high rise loose from top to bottom jean. This also features the additional two inches through the hip and thigh. And I will say out of all of the jeans, these were my least favorite. I'm not sure if I'm a dad jean type of girl. So I think one style tip with the dad jean it, to take it up a notch is to pair it with a crisp white button down. I think adding something that's a little bit more dressy with such a casual pair of jeans is a great way to elevate the style. And last but not least, my absolute favorite from this haul actually are these 90s baggy low rise jeans. And these are actually from the standard collection. I really love the overall fit of these jeans. I picked these up in a size 35 and they are perfect. This particular pair is a low rise with a full length relaxed leg and I think because of the relaxed leg that's how I'm able to have the extra room kind of built in um, through the thigh and hip but I would say this pair fit the best on the waist. A style tip for the 90s baggy jeans so that they don't fit all the way through they are a little bit longer in length is you can actually slip the hem and that will help them to open up and give you a more high fashion finish so after trying on all three pair of these jeans in the curve love I think I'm definitely a size 34 which would be an 18 true to size I think in their standard cut I should stick with the 35 which would be their equivalent to a 20 so again I have to say right on when it comes to fit quality is a plus and I think the price per wear makes this a great buy so if you found this video to be helpful don't forget to save it and share it with a friend you know we're all looking for a good pair of jeans for summer so you might as well hook your girl up and I'll see you on the next one.